Hi, yeah. so this one, we're just going to find the critical region using a two-tailed test. So it says hypothesis test at a 5% significance level uses P is not 0.2 and P isn't not 0.2. So we know then there that it's two-tailed. Uh, find the critical region. Right then. So let's have a look at this. So the 5% significance. So what I'm kind of looking at is either end. So this goes between 0 and 40. What I need to do is find the bar where the bottom 0.025 is and the top 0.025 is. So same idea as with normal. Right, so what have we got here? So I've got the bottom 0.025. So that's going to be okay. So if I do an inverse binomial and set the area to 0 0.025, that gets me out 3. And then I look to the left of it. So that's like a 1. I can't read that over actually. So I've got like a 0 to 1, a 2, and a 3. So I know that the critical value is within that point. So I want to look to the left of it in this case. So I have to look at the probability that x is less than or equal to 3 and the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. Now they give me probabilities of 0 0.0285 and 0 0.0794. So the first one is bigger than the 0 0.025. So that one's out, whereas this one is less than the 0 0.025, so that one's in. So my critical value is x is 2, and my critical region is not up to 2 there. So the acceptance region is a bit in between. Now, the problem with this one, you know, like normal, you can set the, the tail. You can have left tail, right tail, and central tail. But with binomial, you can't. So I'm looking for a top 0 0.025. Now, the binomial traditionally runs to the left-hand tail. So what I'm actually looking for is a bottom 0 0.975. So that's the area that I'm going to put in my inverse, inverse binomial. And if it's right, then that gives me x is 13 out. So really I've got, I've got from 13, 14, all the way up to 40. So it's telling me, because I've got x is 13 out, that it lies in the 13 bar. But I don't know where in the 13 bar. So I have to check for greater than or equal to 13 and check for greater than or equal to 14. So the 13 gives us 0 0.043. And the 14 gives us 0 0.0194. So that's greater than 0 0.025. So that's out. That's less than 0 0.025. That's in. So my critical value is 13. And my critical region, uh, sorry, 14, not 13. My critical region is 14 all the way up to 40. So what I'm saying is, on my picture, if I drew it all out, going from 0 all the way to 40, uh, so what I've got, so I've got 2 is my critical value. So anything from 2 and below is a reject H0. And then I'm saying, all right, from 14 onwards all the way to 40, that's also a reject H0. I don't know if you can read my writing or not, actually. So the acceptance region would be 3 to 13 if it asked for it. So 3 to 13 would be my acceptance region. My accept H0. So you're kind of okay with that. So left-hand tail is fine, but the right-hand tail, because the, the calculator runs the wrong way, instead of looking at the top 0 0.025, I'll look at the bottom 0 0.975. Right, I think that's it. I don't think there's a, a one for you. No, there's not. Right, I'm going to stop this now and I'll do a hypothesis test. Bye-bye.